Tonight, the Iraqi army is engaged in the largest battle yet against ISIS. Iraq is trying to eject ISIS from Fallujah, a city of about 300,000. Iraq is fighting with an odd coalition of U.S. advisors and Iranian forces. They're meeting stiff resistance as they try to encircle the city. Mark Phillips is following the story. The Iraqis say they and the U.S.-led coalition have been pounding ISIS strongholds in Fallujah from the air and from the ground in what's becoming one of the biggest set-piece battles ever fought against so-called Islamic State. Iraqi forces supported by Shiite militias and with the backing of the U.S. and Iran have been trying to soften up dug-in ISIS positions. But the push toward Fallujah has produced a push back. The Iraqis have had to fight off an ISIS counteroffensive along Fallujah's southern outskirts. And while large numbers of government troops are poised there, the full assault into the city seems some way off. If and when the assault comes, it will have to take account of the estimated 50,000 civilians trapped in the town. These are some of the 4,000 or so who have managed to get out. But they are almost all women and children. The men, they say, have been taken away. The fear is that ISIS militants are holding people back to use as human shields. The people are between the hammer of the army and militias and the anvil of Daesh, or ISIS, this imam says. Those who are inside cannot leave, and those who are outside cannot help them. Aid agencies are already calling the battle for Fallujah a human tragedy, but calls for corridors to be established to let civilians escape the fighting have so far, Scott, produced nothing. Mark Phillips in the London newsroom tonight. Mark, thank you.